Security Guru here. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to play back and back up via Internet Explorer. I personally like to use Internet Explorer to play back and back up because it's easier to navigate. At the same time, since it's your PC, you're able to back up larger uh, file sizes and uh, multiple dates quite easily. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll open Internet Explorer. Uh, you enter your uh, local or remote IP address. Enter your username and password. Once in the system, you just click on the Playback tab. Here you'll select the camera that you would like to play back. You can do single window, so it's a little bit easier to see and larger. To the right, you'll see the date calendar. If you see the triangle up on the corner, that means there's recording in it. And on the bottom, uh, there's a scroll bar where you can scroll within the 24 hour time frame of that day. Also, you can do digital zooming by rolling your scroll mouse. Then again, you can navigate and hit pause or stop. Once you've figured out, you can select the download button on the bottom right. Then it'll search for the available uh, videos, or depending on the camera, you can put a specific time and date um, or just check the ones that you feel that it's correct. When you click download, though, um, a lot of times you'll have this issue. It says download failed. What you're going to need to do is you're going to change your setting in Internet option and add it to compatibility view. So go to Internet Options, add the device into your trusted sites. Uh, make sure you uncheck the HTTPS requirement or it's not going to let you. And then go to Compatibility View and add it as well. Um, it's going to log you off. You can simply just log back in. Then go back to Playback. Um, and then again, go back to the Download section. Uh, you can again select the camera that you'd like to back up. Um, I'll click search just for the sake of it, but um, I'll just pick a random time here. Then click download. Then you'll see the status bar there. And then once download is complete, let's go to configuration just to look at where the file location is. Go to local. As you can see here, there's a lot of different places. Um, this one is for the download, which I'll copy and paste it into the file explorer and then it'll take us to the downloaded video files. Then you can simply right click, use the player that you like. I like to use VLC and now you're able to play back the backed up files. Once you've figured out the video files that you wanted to provide to the authorities, you can simply send it to the thumb drive or upload it into Dropbox and send them the link. That's about it. If you have any other questions, please let us know and don't forget to comment, follow, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one.